In the world of defense analysis, major breakthroughs rarely start with an official announcement. They start with a single, grainy photograph that sends ripples through the intelligence community. In late December 2024, we got exactly that. A blurry photo of a dark, tailless aircraft on a runway in northern China. At first, it looked like a hoax. But within hours, satellite analysts confirmed what no one expected. This was no digital fake. Something entirely new had taken flight. Then, in September 2025, high-resolution video captured a brief takeoff. Analysts froze the frames. The proportions, the heat plume, the engine spacing. It wasn't the J-20 or the FC-31. It was something else. The world was looking at China's first true sixth-generation prototype, the J-50. Also known to analysts by its project designation, j xds Officially, the J-50 program remains unacknowledged. No mention in state media, and no acknowledgement by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, the PLAAF. But its design speaks louder than words. In this video, we'll analyze the confirmed test flights and break down the J-50's revolutionary design, including a deep dive into its adaptive engines and stealth nozzles. We'll then compare it side by side with China's other stealth jets, the J-20 and J-35, to reveal their combined strategy. And finally, we'll put the J-50 head-to-head -head with its direct rival, America's Next Generation Air Dominance Program. If you stay with me until the end, you'll understand how this new Cold War in the skies is unfolding, and what role the J-50 was truly built to play. The first clear satellite image was taken over Chengdu Aircraft Industries testing grounds. The craft's shadow revealed a diamond-shaped, tailless configuration, a radical step away from every fifth-generation jet before it. Contrails showed no visible exhaust turbulence. Civilian flight trackers picked up no radar return. A week later, a grainy still frame surfaced online, reportedly capturing the aircraft accelerating near Mach 1.2 before vanishing into the clouds. The Chinese Ministry of Defense neither confirmed nor denied the sighting, and that silence said more than any press release ever could. To understand the J-50, you have to understand its shape. In stealth design, every angle is a choice, and the J-50's choices are radical. First, the complete lack of a tail. This is exceptionally difficult to engineer, but by removing the vertical fins, which are giant radar reflectors, the J-50 becomes incredibly stealthy from its most vulnerable angles. This design is so unstable, it can only be flown by an AI-assisted flight control system. Next, its unique Lambda, or cranked kite wings, optimized for both speed and agility. At the tips, we see all moving surfaces. The entire wingtip likely pivots, giving the J-50 a level of maneuverability that could allow it to outturn any opponent. This design philosophy parallels the US NJAD F-47, yet China's version appears even more aggressive, prioritizing stealth and agility over endurance. It is speculated that the J-50 is equipped with two WS-15E adaptive engines, which are thought to be derivatives of the WS-15 used on the J-20. These engines are believed to employ variable cycle technology, shifting airflow dynamically for either efficiency or thrust. But the real secret lies in the exhaust nozzles. Look closely at their edges. They have a sawtooth pattern designed to mix scorching exhaust gases with cold ambient air more efficiently. This dramatically reduces the aircraft's infrared heat signature, making it far harder for heat-seeking missiles to lock on. These nozzles are believed to feature thrust vectoring control, or TVC. That means they can pivot, directing the engine's thrust independently of the aircraft's body. It's the key to supermaneuverability, allowing the J-50 to perform stunning, physics-defying maneuvers, like pointing its nose at an enemy while still flying in another direction. It's a dogfighting game-changer. Combined with 2D thrust vectoring, the J-50 can outturn nearly anything in the sky. Unlike the heavy, power-hungry J-20, this aircraft seems built for supercruise, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. In theory, it could maintain Mach 1.5 for over 20 minutes while staying invisible to radar. But stealth and thrust are only half the story. The J-50's defining weapon is its AI co-pilot, a neural system integrating radar, 
infrared, and electronic data into a single, real-time combat picture. While the pilot handles mission objectives, the AI predicts threats, selects countermeasures, and plots evasive maneuvers faster than any human could react. This intelligence also links with drone companions, known as loyal wingmen. Controlled through encrypted laser or radio data links, these drones can scout ahead, jam enemy radars, or act as decoys. Together, they form a networked swarm, turning one fighter into a flying command node, the eye of a digital hive. The J-50 is the tip of the spear, but it's backed by a powerful family. First, the J-20 Mighty Dragon, the heavyweight brawler. It's a large, long-range fifth-generation workhorse designed to carry a heavy missile load. Next, the J-35, China's new naval fighter. It's the multi-role striker designed to project power from the country's aircraft carriers. And that brings us back to the J-50. If the J-20 is the workhorse and the J-35 is the naval fist, then the J-50 is the assassin. Its defining feature is its extreme stealth and advanced AI brain. It isn't meant to replace the others. It's designed to lead them. The J-50 is China's direct answer to America's own top secret program, Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD. The NGAD is the planned replacement for the F-22 Raptor, and its core fighter is rumored to be designated F-47. Let's compare them head to head. Design Philosophy The J-50, with its lambda wings and aggressive silhouette, appears to prioritize agility and super maneuverability. By contrast, NGAD concepts show a larger flying wing body, suggesting the U.S. is prioritizing all aspects stealth and extreme range for deep penetration missions. It's agility versus endurance. Both are built around the same sixth-generation pillars, AI co-pilots and the ability to command loyal wingman drones. The crucial difference will lie in the software and networking that tie these systems together. The J-50's tailless design is revolutionary. However, the NGAD is rumored to push stealth to a new extreme, avoiding not just radar detection, but also infrared, electronic, and even acoustic tracking. It's a clash of titans, two ghosts preparing for a new kind of invisible war. So, how do these rivalries play out in real strategy? The J-50's role is to be China's silver bullet. Imagine a potential conflict in the Pacific. The J-50s go in first, alone and in complete silence. Their mission, to hunt the most valuable targets, enemy command centers, early warning radars, and rival NGAD fighters. They're built to win that initial, invisible duel. Once the J-50s have kicked down the door and blinded the enemy, the second wave arrives. J-20 seconds to dominate the sky. J-35 seconds to strike ships and ground targets. The J-50 isn't just a fighter. It's the key that unlocks China's entire aerial strategy. It's designed to beat its American counterpart, then open the path for the rest of the force to operate freely. The appearance of the J-50, first spotted in late 2024, has triggered a new arms race. It's a real, flying prototype, a direct peer to America's most advanced ambitions. While both nations face immense challenges in mass-producing these machines, the battle lines for the next generation have been drawn. The era of a single nation dominating the skies is over. What do you think? Which design philosophy will win the future of air combat? The Agile J-50 or the Long Range NGAD? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown valuable, please hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive. Thank you for watching.